In this episode of On Shoulders TV, we will be hacking into the wiper of the trim pot of a servo. Most servos only have three wires, positive, negative, and, and data. This allows you to power the servo as well as tell the servo what position you want it to go to. With this hack, with hacking into the wiper of the trim pot, we will not only be able to tell the servo where we want it to go, but we will also be able to read the servo value and the servo position and do with that data what we want. First, we're going to unscrew the back of the servo. And as we do this, we need to be very careful not to let the front of the servo come apart, which is where all the gears are. We don't want any gears slipping on us. And this gives us access to the circuit board. But where's the wiper? Ah, there it is. But how do I know that? I had to take apart another servo to find it out, and you may have to do the same with your servos. Every servo is different. So now that we know where the wiper is, we can turn on our soldering iron, or in this case, light it, grab some solder, grab a wire, strip the end off, apply some solder. I'm very liberal here because I want it to be a strong connection. And there we go. Looks good. Let the connection cool. Once it's cool, bend it to our will. But we have a problem here. The back of the servo no longer goes on because of the extra wire. So we make a hole for the extra wire. And it fits snugly. Now we can screw the servo back together before any of the gears slip. Measure 40 millimeters and cut to length. Measure twice, cut once. You can go with whatever length you want. I'm choosing 40 millimeters and I'm going to stay consistent. Now we're going to strip all of the wires so that they look like this. The reason we strip the wires is so that we could connect female crimp pins, 0.1 inch female crimp pins. They look like this. And with those pins, we can push them into our crimp connector housing, 0.1 inch crimp connector housing. This will allow us to interface the servo with the rest of our equipment. And we're done. In the next episode, we're going to plug this modified servo into our microcontroller. And I think you're going to be surprised with what we can do with it.